Visual Studio Code is a modern, extendable text editor. It provides first-class support for Python programming using an extension provided by Microsoft. This extension directly supports working in Jupyter Notebooks and also supports a cell execution mode known as Magic Python. Start by opening VS Code. Let's begin by checking that the Python extension is installed. Click on the extension icon. You should see Python. If you have installed other extensions, these will be listed here as well. The VS Code extension ecosystem is very rich and includes support for a wide range of languages such as MATLAB, R, Julia, and LaTeX. Some of the interesting extensions include IntelliCode, which adds an AI assistant, and Code Spell Checker, which adds spell checking. Let's start by selecting File, Open Folder, and navigating to the folder that contains the Python introduction code. Navigate into Course and Introduction and click on Select Folder. When the folder opens, we will see its contents on the left. Finally, double-click on demo.ipynb. This opens the notebook in VS Code. This view is similar to the standard Jupyter Notebook server. At the top of the window, you will see a play or refresh and a stop button. These start, stop, and restart the Jupyter server. Normally, we don't need to use these. Next to each cell, you will see another play button. This executes the content in the cell. Start by running the first code cell. This starts the Jupyter server, and after a short delay, runs the code and prints some output. Running the next block of code imports some data using pandas and shows the first few rows. The final code cell simulates a random walk and plots the output. The plot appears below the cell. Click on Run Cell again. This produces a new graph. If we run the cell multiple times, we get a new graph each time. These graphs are different from the first, since standard normal is generating normal random values. Finally, double-click on the bottom cell. This cell shows some examples of markdown code. Headings begin with between 1 and 6 hash characters. Markdown also supports bold, italics, and monospace. Code blocks can be created using triple ticks. The language of the code can be given after the first set of ticks. This block is Python code. Markdown supports math using LaTeX code. Inline equations start and end with a single dollar sign. Full width equations use double dollar signs. You can create tables in Markdown using pipes and dashes to separate the header and cells. Click outside of the cell to render the Markdown. Next, go to Spider and open demo.py. Here we see a lot of green text and some code. The green text blocks are Python comments, which include both code comments and Markdown that has been converted to comments. If you look closely, you will see the magic Python markers hash percent percent. This file was exported from the demo notebook and the cell markers have been added manually. Despite these markers, this is a standard Python file. More importantly, it can be run cell by cell by pressing the Run Cell button. We can run the first cell. This does not produce any output since it only contains comments, which are preceded by the hash character. Running the first code cell prints the same output as in the notebook. Here, the cell and its contents appear on the right pane. Next, run the second cell. The output again appears in the right pane. Finally, 
from the third cell. The plot appears in the right pane as well. This highlights a difference between Magic Python mode and notebooks. The output from Magic Python file is presented as a continuous list in a different pane and is not directly connected to the cell that produced the code. Finally, the large cell at the bottom contains Markdown. This code will not be rendered unless we add a special keyword, which is required after the Magic Python marker. If we add bracket, markdown, close bracket, and then run the cell, we'll see the markdown rendered on the right. We can add this to the cell at the top to produce markdown here as well. Finally, click the bottom cell and enter import numpy as np. Next, enter np.array parentheses and leave the cursor. After a short delay, we see the pop-up box with the function signature and some help. If we select array and hover, we see a better formatted version that is easier to read. This integrated help is similar to, but worse than, the help viewer in Spider. Finally, Visual Studio Code supports exporting Magic Python files to Jupyter Notebooks. To export the file, select View, Command Palette, and then type Export Jupyter. Select the option that includes the output and enter a file name. Here I've named the file demo exported. If we open the exported notebook file, we'll see that it is in fact a standard notebook. VS Code has opened the notebook in the standard Jupyter Notebook server. This is the original format for notebooks and is a good method to view complete notebooks. I cannot recommend it as an environment for writing code since the integrated environments in VS Code or PyCharm help us write clearer, less error-prone code. We can also open the exported notebook in Visual Studio Code. In this demonstration, we have seen that VS Code is a capable editor for Python. VS Code works with existing notebooks without modification. It also supports Magic Python using hash percent percent to demarcate cells. Magic Python files are standard Python that can be run as standalone Python scripts or interactively using the Jupyter Notebook server. This difference provides the use case for Magic Python files. They can be interactively developed, but then executed later without any user intervention. 